Today, many astronomical programs need to observe using multiple telescope facilities, whilst also looking to reduce the workload and cost of running such programs. These programs often need a wide variety of observations. Sometimes astronomers need to observe urgently in response to a new discovery, while at other times they need to monitor an interesting object over a long period. Other programs need intensive observations for specific periods of time or catalogues of objects. The EON network aims to enhance all astronomical programs by improving the ease of use for PIs and feasibility of some observing modes combining multiple facilities, while also reducing the workload and costs involved. This will be achieved through two avenues, online user interfaces and queue scheduling. By submitting observation requests online, astronomers minimise the financial, time and environmental impacts of observing runs by reducing the need to travel to telescope sites. Several facilities already offer online portals for astronomers to request observations. You can submit requests directly through each facility's own online portal, or submit requests through a TOM – Target and Observation Manager – system. Using a TOM system can reduce the workload by handling the coordination of observations for you, and by providing a single common interface to all participating facilities. To improve compatibility, the EON partner facilities are working to develop a common observations request language and set of interfaces, which will be publicly accessible and easy to implement. These will capture all of the information required to request observations from multiple instruments and return status information from partner facilities. The TOM Toolkit supports the EON observation language, so it's easy for users to interact with new facilities through EON-compatible interfaces. EON partner facilities agree to spend some fraction of their time executing programmatically requested observations in a queue-scheduled operational mode. This does not mean the partner facilities have to be robotically operated. Two of EON's founding partner facilities, SOAR and Gemini, are and will remain human-operated. It is up to the partner facilities to decide how much time they will allocate to EON mode, and how and when this time will be allocated. This means that observatories can schedule their facilities in the way that suits their users best, combining both queue-scheduled and classical modes if they prefer. This gives astronomers greater flexibility to observe when and where their science demands, whenever practical. Once they approve proposals for their facilities, EON partners may take advantage of state-of-the-art telescope scheduling software, which can optimise the distribution of requested observations at their telescopes within minutes. The software is run continuously whenever the telescope is in EON mode, providing a constantly up-to-date schedule. This enables the telescope to respond rapidly to target of opportunity overrides, but also gracefully reorganises all other programmes to accommodate the urgent request. As a result, other non-target of opportunity science programmes are protected, and the workload on observatory staff is reduced. The founding partners of EON are LCO, NSF's Noir Lab facilities, the Gemini Observatory, SOAR Observatory and Community Science and Data Centre. Let's take a closer look at how it works. LCO and SOAR requests are processed through the LCO portal. When the SOAR telescope enters EON mode, observations submitted through LCO's infrastructure are conducted by SOAR operators. Gemini is participating in EON through a different channel, and not through the LCO network. Observations using Gemini will be submitted through their own EON-compatible online portal. Observation requests for any participating facility can also be easily submitted through a TOM system. The collected data is made available through the LCO, Noir Lab and Gemini data archives. A TOM system is able to automatically harvest this data.
Currently, E.ON is still developing and we're looking forward to the opportunity to work with other observatories. For more details about E.ON and how to get involved, visit lco.global/eon.